on the popular website YouTube. There exists a- oh, fuck it. This bit's dead anyway. On with the show. Dr. Montrose. Alright. <coughs> Dr. Montrose. Let's talk about- You endangered Aaron. Yes. Your agency advocated for Jenna Bauer in her bid to regain custody of her son, Eric. In retrospect, was this in Aaron's best interest? I bet not, because state, he ended up dead. The answer has to be no. But hindsight is always twenty twenty. At the time, because yeah, you got eyes falling out of your ass, right? I, Every I mean, mother deserves wait. to retain the custody of her children. We weighed the pros and cons of Jenna Bauer's case, and we came to the conclusion that uh -huh. she deserved a second chance. Uh -huh. Perhaps if we'd had more facts at our disposal. How about the crack pipe that we with found within two decision. seconds of looking at her corpse? Yeah. I don't believe it is. Yes. Woo! Montrose claimed earlier that he fought against you, you cut the air. Uh, that uh, Montrose only admitted he took a different dish without thinking. I don't think so. The alternative, yeah, see, nobody deserved to go there. That makes sense. Montrose said the bird is a good class, good chef, came before he came director. What do you think? I think we can look over the speech now because now I just realized we can do that. So if you had more facts, what would correspond to him having already having the facts he needed and him doing nothing about it? Let's see here. roll the dice on this one, I think. I don't think that's going to help us much. Hmm. Let's take a guess. Oh! Right! Yeah! That's in how we do. Case, the alternative was placing Aaron in City Youth Home. You simply didn't want him there. Dr. Montrose, have you <laughs> ever signed off on moving a child from his parents' custody into the institutional foster care system? You said a lot of big words. What'd no. you say? <laughs> yeah. No. no. Yeah. Never believe anybody when they just say, no. No. It's like, usually it's State no, guidelines I, for social blah, welfare blah, blah, blah. agencies mandate one home visit per month at the very least. You needn't lecture me. I'm well acquainted with state guidelines. Not well Do acquainted you enough. Follow them? Yes, Mr. McCoy. We follow the state guidelines meticulously. Bullshit. Good Shepherd didn't have his yeah, own right. guidelines? No. No! No, I don't at all! Alright. Uh. Mix. No. No, everybody's got a kiss. Something about fucking the rules, somewhere. I don't remember what- I don't really remember what the caseworker said, that was a while ago. We didn't really get anything about a memo, so... State guidelines... I think that's what he said when the detective was interviewing him. Check it out! Yeah! <laughs> We are lawing it up! Didn't you tell the detectives that Good Shepherd makes its own guidelines? I don't recall saying anything of the sort. Think back, Dr. Mm -hmm. Montrose. It was during the same interview in which you refused to turn over Aaron Bauer's case files in clear violation of standard That's procedure. Right. Rejection, immaterial. It uh -oh. goes to credibility, Your Honor. Overruled. Ha! I won't deny that I ate the more points in our favor. To that's you like 20 more points for us, right? If anything, right. whatever goes for them should go for us. Comprehensive than the states. All right, new topics. Mm. We're doing good. We're doing good. Bowers apartment. You've heard Detective We're on Curtis's the good side of the right of what he side found of in Jenna Bowers' apartment, and you've meter. seen the pictures. Indeed, I have. What can I say? Appalling. Mm -hmm. I had no idea until this very morning when my counsel showed me the pictures. No idea to the bar. Uh. No, because you have... Your... Well, if it's one per visit, once a month. The last time they visited was Christmas, and there's no way that that apartment could have gotten in that state in just a few days well, from Christmas to New Year's. Well, if she started doing crack again, it could have. Well, if you visited on Christmas, you would have known that. 
So no, it's not plausible. Ha! Ooh, good one. Let's see. In the apartment. Well, as long as we got the star, that's all I care about, so roll the dice on this one, I guess. Go for it. Mm hmm. Oh, well. You're the expert, Dr. Montrose. Do you think it's possible for conditions to degenerate that rapidly in a mere eight days? That's that's it's exactly what I thought. Possible, I suppose. But I have to admit, if I were an outside observer, I'd find it a difficult story to swallow. Indeed, if it weren't for my faith in my employer, Miss Scott, well, that really is Lee. I'd be inclined to think it was a story. Really? I already got that kind of. Yeah. Oh, no know? further questions. Yeah, it's totally Lee. Okay. All right, Jerry's on the fence just because I got that one thing wrong, but whatever. <laughs> We're still looking clean. This is where they come crawling to us, unless they have something else to, to testify about. They gotta bring in that drama queen bitch. The one that also should be in prison. Oh. Oh, the, the one that we questioned, like, for ten minutes? Yep. Well, let's find out. Defense calls Wanda Schuyler to the witness stand. Oh, this is the... Oh, okay. I know this is difficult for you, Miss Schuyler, but I want you to recall for us the moment you stepped into Jenna Bauer's apartment on January 1st. It was... It, it was like stepping off a cliff, you know? Because of your feelings for Mrs. Bauer, you mean? Because you cared about her so much? <laughs> the, I don't think there's any reason to object. No. That's right. Damn it, Would there you was! Say you had a personal connection with Aaron Bauer? Yes, I did. Aaron, he was a great kid. Talented, you know. Uh -huh. He wanted to be a comic book artist when he grew up. He and I yeah. had a little private game where he pretended I was a superhero. But he didn't say or do anything in the last few months to indicate his home life was deteriorating? No. Hmm. You know how boys can be at his age? Stoic. He, he probably thought it would yeah, be was unmanly or disloyal to tattle on his mom. What would we object to, though? Uh... You know, boys would be a student. You probably thought it would be. That's no. That's not expert testimony. That's that's just. It's either hearsay or no expert witness. Objection! Speculation. The witness is speculating about the victim's motivations. Sustained. Yeah, Bam! How would she know what he would have done? Yeah, you have, have no idea about the heart of a ten-year-old who's trafficking It'd drugs for his mom. Three years in April. And in that time, has Dr. Montrose ever encouraged you to be negligent in your duties? Not at all, no. Dr. Montrose is an inspiration. She's brainwashed! He how broken She's the system indoctrinated. Is, and he's completely passionate about reforming it. It's it's energizing. I only wish... I... I just... I just wish this hadn't happened to him. I mean, to all of us. Of course. We all do. Your witness. Goodness gracious. Well, that went... that went all right. Not really. We got through their biggest wave. Now they don't have very much left in their case. We're gonna... This is where we're gonna take the Ms. lead. Skyler, really knock him Dr. in the dirt. Dr. Montrose has testified that you visited the Bowers and their apartment on Christmas Day. At that time, did you find any indications that Jenna Bauer had lapsed back into her addiction to crystal meth? I, um... I... I didn't see any... Oh! I never made that visit! <gasps> oh! I don't have an excuse! I simply failed well, to that, do well, that my worked. job, and then I faked the report after the fact to cover up. Can we get some Phoenix Wright music up in here? Oh. That's not what you said at the deposition. Are you changing your testimony, Miss Skyler? Right. I guess so. Oh, Were dear. you briefed about this? This is a bit of a wrench, isn't it? Your Honor, yeah, just a little bit. was unprepared for this development. We petitioned the court for a continuance. Petition granted. We will resume trial next week. Well, okay. 
Oh, oh dear, the case is just taking a turn for the worse. The jury doesn't know what to make of one. It's kind of tough. Oh no, we're gonna need. Okay, so we're gonna need to, I guess, convince her. Man, this is this is intense. What witness? Skylar, the caretaker. Because she just changed oh. her, her testimony, she doesn't know what to. We'll see you next time, and let's play Law and Order. Woo! Woo!